Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Monmouth County Senior Art Show. My name is Vinny Martini, and I am the Arts Education and Events Manager for Monmouth Arts. I am also the coordinator of this year's Senior Art Show. I just want to say how incredible it is that we can still manage to find a way to gather and celebrate the incredible talent of Monmouth County artists, even though we couldn't be physically together today. Monmouth Arts was striving to find a way to be able to celebrate the artistic talents of Monmouth County seniors in a way that was safe and accessible for the entire community. And we just thought that this was the most efficient way to do that. So thank you for tuning in today and being a part of our first ever virtual reception for this show. I'm continuously honored to be able to be a part of this incredible program. Monmouth County is home to some of the most incredibly talented artists in the state. And you'll be able to see that through all of the work that's in this show. Now, just before you saw me, you saw a slideshow of every single piece of work in the Senior Art Show this year. And you can see just as much as I can how difficult it must have been for those judges to pick these works we'll be awarding today. I wanna give a big round of applause to all of the artists who entered this show. It takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there and bring your work into the spotlight like you're all doing today. I'm a performing artist and I know this very well. And that translates pretty well into the visual arts. Um, and so you should be very, very proud of yourselves just for putting your work out there. Now, without further ado, I would like to introduce the Executive Director of Monmouth Arts to say a few words, Teresa Staub. Teresa? Thank you so much, Vinny. I am Teresa Staub, the Executive Director of Monmouth Arts. And it is my great pleasure to be here today, even though it's virtual, to celebrate the artistic excellence of Monmouth County senior artists. Congratulations to all our entrants and a special congratulations to our winners. Thank you so much to Freeholder Kylie for joining us and special thanks to the Monmouth County Office on Aging and the Monmouth County Library System for coordinating today's event. Special thanks to the Monmouth Arts team for seamlessly pivoting to a virtual event. And special thanks goes to Vinnie Martini, Monmouth Arts Arts and Education and Events Manager. I also want to thank Monmouth Arts Board of Directors, headed by our Chairman of the Board, Joe Barris. If you're not familiar with Monmouth Arts, we are the official county arts agency of Monmouth County. We provide countless arts programs and services to the community. If you're not a member of Monmouth Arts, I encourage you to, be, to become one, and you can check out all the information on monmoutharts.org. Again, congratulations to all our entrants and to our winners. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, Teresa. And now I would like to welcome from the Monmouth County Library System, a longtime partner of the Senior Art Show here in Monmouth County, the director of the Monmouth County Library, Judy Tolchin. Judy. Greetings, Senior Art Show participants and guests. My name is Judy Tolchin, and I am the director of the Monmouth County Library System. I hope that all is well with you and your families during this very challenging time. I would like to welcome everyone to the virtual Monmouth County Annual Senior Art Show Award Ceremony. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank our partners in the endeavor, including Monmouth County Board of Chosen Freeholders, the Monmouth County Department of Human Services, Sum Mollion, and the Monmouth County Office on Aging, the Monmouth County Library, Public Relations and Art Departments, and Monmouth Arts. For so very many years, the library has had the honor and privilege to co-sponsor this wonderful event. The artwork of our talented senior citizens has graced the walls of the headquarters library for each year for as long as I can remember. This year, 2020, will be different and I will miss walking by the exhibit each day, selecting my favorites and finding something interesting and unique in each and every work. But this year we will have to persevere, view the amazing artworks online, and look forward to the future in the hope that we can soon meet again in person. Every year I am amazed at the creativity in the paintings, drawings, photography, sculpture, and other visual arts. You are all winning artists in my opinion. There is no shortage of talent and artistry in Monmouth County. I thank you for participating and sharing your work with the community. 
I would like to remind everyone that the Monmouth County Library offers a wide array of online instructional classes in acrylic and watercolor painting, drawing, photography, photo editing, digital arts, and so much more for universal class to library card holders. We also have in-library art resources and books available to the general public. Stay safe and well, and please know that the Monmouth County Library is here whenever you need us. Congratulations to all the award recipients and participating artists. Thank you so much, Judy. It is now my pleasure to introduce Freeholder Deputy Director, Sue Kiley. Hi. I'm Freeholder Deputy Director Sue Kiley and the Liaison to the Office on Aging. And I am very excited to be here, even though it's virtual, to congratulate all of you in the 2020 Senior Art Show and especially the winners. It is unfortunate that we cannot be together to be able to celebrate your successes. But I am so glad that we are able to host this contest this year under the direction of the Office on Aging and Mammoth Arts. I know how important it is for this contest to happen, and so many of you who are participating this year have worked so hard. Some of you have spent months, maybe the entire year, preparing your artwork for submission. We wanted to make sure that you still had the opportunity to be able to showcase your hard work, even if it will need to be done virtually. During these very difficult and unprecedented times, you have spent more time than normal at home. And I hope that your artistic ability has helped you to find peace and joy as you stay at home working on your projects. Your work is truly exceptional, and every submission is deserving of recognition. Again, congratulations to all of the participants and to the winners of this year's Senior Art Show. And I am wishing you all the very best of luck in the New Jersey Senior Art Show taking place in October. I know we've had many winners at that art show in the past, and I'm looking forward to hearing who the Monmouth County winners will be this year. Thank you. Thank you so much, Freeholder Kylie, and thank you to all of the Monmouth County Board of Chosen Freeholders for your support of the Monmouth County Senior Art Show and Monmouth Arts. It is now my pleasure to introduce Executive Director of the Monmouth County Office on Aging, Sue Mullion. Sue? Hi, I'm Sue Mullion, Director of the Division of Aging, Disabilities, and Veteran Services for Monmouth County. I would like to thank all the Monmouth County artists that participated in the 2020 Monmouth County Senior Art Show. I am so proud of each and every one of you that persevered and worked hard to submit your artwork. Thank you for your commitment to the arts and your willingness to carry on and continue our tradition of a senior art show regardless of our current circumstances. Your participation during these times has made all of you a winner. I would like to thank Terry O'Connor, Monmouth County Administrator, and the Monmouth County Board of Chosen Freeholders, Freeholder Director Thomas Arnon, Freeholder Deputy Director Sue Kiley, Freeholder Lillian Burry, Freeholder Patrick Impreveduto, and Freeholder Nick DiRocco for their unwavering and steadfast leadership during these challenging times. Freeholder Kiley, as a liaison for the Office on Aging, I want to thank you on behalf of Monmouth County Seniors for your exceptional advocacy and support. I would also like to thank Jeff Schwartz, Director of Human Services, and Lisa Von Peer, Deputy Director of Human Services, for their leadership and support of our seniors during these unprecedented times. And of course, I would like to thank Monmouth Arts Director, Teresa Staub and Vincent Martini, for their professional work managing and directing every aspect of the Monmouth County Senior Art Show. Congratulations, Monmouth County artists, and best of luck to all of you at the New Jersey Senior Art Show in October. Thank you, Sue. And now, what you've all been waiting for, it is time to begin the awards portion of today's ceremony for the Monmouth County Senior Art Show. And we are super excited to begin our 2020 Monmouth County Senior Art Show Award Ceremony. We'll be starting with the Best in Show Award for the Professional Division. This award goes to Linda Hart for her uh, piece, Shady Characters, a watercolor piece. Congratulations, Linda. 
we'll be moving right along to the non-professional best in show award uh, this award goes to Stephen Lewis for his sculpture Frazzle congratulations Stephen and congratulations to both of our best in show winners we'll begin the awards for the professional acrylic division the first award is the third place professional acrylic piece for Beverly Siriani's purple fantasy the second place award will go to Norma Tolliver for her piece, Fields of Joy. And our first place professional acrylic award goes to Karen Martin for her piece, Guardian. Congratulations, Karen, and all of our pro acrylic winners. And moving on to our non-professional acrylic awards, our first award is our honorable mention award for Al Terry and his Red Bridge at Charleston. The third place non-professional acrylic award goes to Claire Cooney for her Brian Strip. The second place non-professional acrylic award goes to Janet Rittner's Americana Sunset. And the first place non-professional acrylic award goes to Pete Stendhal for his Clean Living. Congratulations to all of our non-professional acrylic winners. Moving on to the non-professional craft category, our first award is the third place non-professional craft award for Beth DiMartino and her colorful elephant. The second place non-professional craft award goes to Lori Campitella for her poppy garden. And the first place non-professional craft award goes to Harvey Altman for his girls walking. Congratulations to all of our craft winners. Moving along to the Professional Digital Art Division, our first award is the second place award for Professional Digital Art, and that goes to Belle Cablenz for her Weeping Cherry. And the first place award for Professional Digital Art goes to Grace F. Schultz for her self-portrait. Congratulations, ladies. Moving on to the Non-Professional Digital Art category, we'll begin with our first award for first place Non-Professional Digital Art, Poochie Poochie Poo by Stephen Solop. Congratulations, Stephen. Moving on to the Non-Professional Drawing category. The third place award for Non-Professional Drawing goes to Diane Del Pratt for her Hummingbird. Congratulations, Diane. The second place Non-Professional Drawing award goes to Judy Ginsky for her drawing Nyla. And the first place Non-Professional award in drawing goes to Linda Alston for Sarah Remembered. Congratulations, Linda, and all of our drawing awardees. Moving on to the Professional Mixed Media Division, our first place award goes to Beverly Hurtler for her piece, Untitled A. Congratulations, Beverly. Moving on to the Non-Professional Mixed Media Awards, the first award is an honorable mention in Non-Professional Mixed Media for Judy O'Connor's Life in a Fishbowl. The next award is also an honorable mention for Abby Lasker's Verizon, Can You Hear Me Now? The third place award in non-professional mixed media goes to See How My Garden Grows by Lois Wilkes. The second place award in this division goes to Marianne Samora for her Bubble Trumpet Vine. And the first place award in this division goes to Joseph N. Villa for Rapunzel. Congratulations to all of our non-professional mixed media winners. Moving right along, we'll be in the professional oil division. The third place award in the professional oil division goes to Joel Stern for his spring in Central Park. The second place professional oil award in this category goes to Leonardo Rogieri for When the World Stopped. And the first place award for professional oil goes to Anne Marie Fitzsimmons for Miss America. Congratulations, winners! Moving along to the non professional oil division. Our first winner is the second place winner in non-professional oil, and that goes to Colleen Hobson for Sandy Hook Audience. And the first place winner in the non-professional oil category is Bobby Carey for her piece, Humphrey and Me. Congratulations to our non-professional oil winners. Moving along to the professional pastel category, the first place award goes to Helen Eleni Antholis for her piece, Liberty Bowl 4. Congratulations, Helen. In the non-professional pastel category, our first award is an honorable mention for the non-professional pastel piece, The Valley by Ernie and Foley's. Congratulations. The third place non-professional pastel winner is Cougar One by Susan Van Falkenberg. The second place winner in this division is Patty Ryan for her piece, Young Lady in a Babushka. And the first place winner in the non-professional pastel category is Valerie Ragazio for her lighting a candle. Congratulations to our pastel winners. And now in our professional photography division, 
the honorable mention award for professional photography goes to Johanna Erickson for her piece at rest. The third place professional photography award goes to Ellen Rubenstein for her piece, Sea Sculpture. The second place professional photography award goes to Vince Matalevich for Irregular in Curve Mom. And the first place professional photography award goes to Marilyn Baldi for her piece, Steps of Matera. Congratulations, photography winners. And now in our non-professional photo category, the third place award for non-professional photography goes to Three Irises by William Jelenic. The second place award for non-professional photography goes to Denise Zimmerman for Paddleboard Into a New Day. And the first place non-professional photography winner is Ellen Hughes for The Long and Winding Road. Congratulations! Moving into our sculpture categories, the Professional Sculpture Awards. The third place Professional Sculpture Award goes to Michael Ferrara for his piece, Ridge Bolts. The second place Professional Sculpture Award goes to Paul Pugliese for The Dismount. And the first place Professional Sculpture Award goes to Stephanie Novatsky for her piece Waiting for the Train. And now in our non-professional sculpture winners, the first place award for non-professional sculpture is our Best in Show winner, Stephen Lewis, for his piece Frazzle. Congratulations, Stephen! Moving into the Professional Watercolor Division. The third place winner for professional watercolor is Michelle Rath for Lady in Waiting. The second place winner for professional watercolor is Jackie St. Angel for her piece Daughter of Elysium. And the first place professional watercolor winner is also your professional best in show winner, Linda Hart's Shady Characters. Congratulations, Linda, and all of our winners. In the non-professional watercolor category, our honorable mention award goes to Marlene Ackroyd for Purple Haze Metropolis. The third place non-professional watercolor award goes to Teresa Trochia for Please. The second place winner in this division is Carolyn Slade for her piece, Onions. And the final winner in this category is the first place non-professional watercolor winner, Melissa Raffae for Isolation. Congratulations to all of our winners. And that concludes today's award ceremony. A big congratulations to all of the artists who put work in this show. You are all incredibly talented and should be so proud of yourselves. A special congratulations to those who received awards today. You can view the entire Senior Art Show as well as a list of all of the winners we awarded today by heading to www.mammotharts.org slash Senior Art Show. The video from today will be available on that link as well as on the Monmouth County Library website for viewing afterwards. I want to give a big thank you to the Monmouth County Office on Aging, especially Executive Director Sue Mullian and her entire staff uh, for helping to make this possible. I'd like to give a big thank you to the Monmouth County Library System, especially Director Judy Tolchin, uh, for their support and longtime partnership on the Senior Art Show. I, of course, would like to thank the Monmouth County Board of Chosen Freeholders for continuing to support the arts in Monmouth County, and especially Freeholder Deputy Director Sue Kiley for speaking today. And I want to give a shout out to the entire Monmouth Arts staff and our esteemed Executive Director Teresa Stout for their continued support of the program. At Monmouth Arts, we like to say the arts must go on. It is so important that people understand the importance of the arts during this crisis we are facing today. To learn how you can support the arts during the coronavirus pandemic, you can head to www.mammotharts.org to learn more. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Again, my name is Vinnie Martini and I am the Arts Education and Events Manager at Mammoth Arts and the coordinator of this year's Senior Art Show. And I'm so happy to be able to share our first ever virtual Senior Art Show reception with you. Everyone, please take care and have a safe and healthy rest of your summer. Bye-bye.